goodwill premium retained in business a and b are partners sharing profits and losses equal okay a and b they value goodwill at 3 lakh 50000 and they admit c with a new profit sharing ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 2 c brings in a capital of 5 lakh and he brings in his share of goodwill premium so we have to find out what is his share of goodwill premium what is the share of goodwill premium? It is his share in the value of goodwill which we have estimated. Provided that the goodwill does not appear in the balance sheet. Assuming that no goodwill appears in the balance sheet, perfect. And the amount is retained in the business, let us pass journal entries. How do you pass journal entries? What are the things we need to know? First, we need to know what is the sacrificing ratio of A and B. What is sacrificing ratio? Old ratio minus new ratio. The ratio of the sacrifice is the sacrificing ratio. That is one. Next, we have to find out what is the amount of goodwill premium that C is supposed to bring. What should be the amount of premium? His share, that is 2. 3 is to 2 is to 2. 3 plus 2. 5 plus 2. 7. 2 by 7 of 3,50,000 should be the amount of his his share of goodwill and therefore the goodwill premium to be brought in. So let us do one by one. <clears throat> First, let us find out, let us find out what is the sacrificing ratio. What is the old ratio? Equally, old ratio between A and B is half and half. What is the new ratio? It is 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7. So 3 by 7 and 2 by 7. 3 by 7 and 2 by 7 and of course C also has 2 by 7 but we are finding not the gain 2 by 7 is what the gain which is made by C but we are trying to find out the sacrifice made by A and the sacrifice made by B. What is half minus 3 by 7, 7 twos are 14 common denominator 14 divided by 2, 7 into 1. 14 divided by 7, 2 into 3, 6. So you get 1 by 14. So what is the sacrifice? 1 by 14. And in case of B, it is half minus 2 by 7. 7 minus 14 divided by 7, 2. 2 into 2, 4. 7 minus 4, 3 by 14. One by fourteen is the sacrifice made by A. Three by fourteen is the sacrifice made by B. We've discussed this before, but if you notice, one by fourteen plus three by fourteen will add up to four by fourteen or two by seven, which is C's share. But so, what is the sacrifice? One by fourteen is the sacrifice of A. Sacrifice of B, 3 by 14. Therefore, what is the sacrificing ratio? Ratio of the sacrifices is 1 is to 3. 1 is to 3. So, this is your sacrificing ratio first. So, this is one working note. What is the next one working note? 2 if I take is I want to know the his share of goodwill premium. What is his share of goodwill premium? His share is 2 by 7 C's share into the amount of goodwill, amount of goodwill, 3,50,000, 2 seventh of 3,50,000. This will give me 1 lakh. This will give me 1 lakh. <clears throat> so now what would be the accounting entries? C has brought in 5 lakh and C has brought in 1 lakh. So C is bringing in 6 lakh. So what is the entry for that? Let's say cash account or bank account debit. C brings in very simple bank account debit to C's capital account. Sorry, 6 lakh, right? He brings in 5 lakh plus 1 lakh, 6 lakh on account of capital and on account of goodwill premium. 5 lakh plus 1 lakh, 6 lakh. Next, what should we do? A and B need to be compensated with the goodwill premium. Goodwill premium has been brought in by C. This has to be credited to the capital accounts of A and B in what ratio? 
sacrificing ratio. So we will say C's capital account debit, C's capital account debit, 1 lakh goodwill premium, his share of goodwill, 2, A, 2, B, what ratio? 1 is to 3, 1 is to 3. Therefore that becomes 25,000 and 75,000. This is 1 is to 3 or 1 by 4 of 1 lakh and 3 by 4 of 1 lakh. This would be the accounting entries. What has happened is your bank balance has increased. The bank balance has increased. The resources, cash resources in the business has increased. Seize capital, the credit, remaining credit will be only for 5 lakhs. The credit will be only for 5 lakhs, which is the amount of his capital contribution. But A and B have increased, gained their capitals to the extent of the, in the ratio of the sacrifice which has been made. A's capital account has been credited with 25,000 and B's capital account has been credited by 75,000. And there is an increase in the cash balance in the business by 1 lakh being the amount of premium which is brought in by C. Of course, C has also brought in 5 lakh as his capital to which he is his share of capital for his, contrib his contribution to the capital of the business, of the partnership firm. But goodwill premium, 1 lakh cash increase and this 1 lakh is credited to A and B in their sacrificing ratio. Let us look at a neater presentation of the same thing. Here we are. Goodwill premium. Goodwill is 3,50. C's share is 2 seventh of 3,50. That is 1 lakh. There is no goodwill in the balance sheet. Therefore, goodwill premium is 1 lakh. No goodwill in the balance sheet. I repeat, if the full value of goodwill was there in the balance sheet, C need not bring in any goodwill premium. Need not bring in any goodwill premium. But there is no goodwill in the balance sheet. Therefore, the entire amount is brought in by him. His share in the entire amount of goodwill. Next, sacrificing ratio. A, B, we did this. 1 by 14, 3 by 14, 1 is to 3. <coughs> Accounting entries, cash brought in by C. Cash account debit to C's capital account. Share of C's goodwill credited to the old partners. C's capital account debit 1 lakh. What is 1 lakh? I repeat his share of goodwill. C's share of goodwill. To A's capital, to B's capital. In what ratio? In sacrificing ratio. Sacrificing ratio. Let us look at another example. The same example. This money may also be withdrawn by the old partner. 